As a boy, I pursued life with almost singular focus, to play in the outdoors. Nothing seemed to fit this bill better than exploring creeks. We'd grab some snacks and leave the house in the morning to go explore. We just had to be back by dinner. I didn't know it then, but I'm sure her mom was worried about me. On Dirt Dauber's voicemail was a message from Mama Dauber. I love you very much. Y'all be safe. I love you, and you're all in my prayers. God bless you, Mom. I guess we haven't changed a bit. So here's to all the boys who run through the woods exploring creeks, and to the moms who worry about them. I guess I've always heard the whisper of the river. It flows in my veins, and I can't escape it. And I hope that that never changes. Good morning, everybody. Fantastic night's sleep. This is one of our top three campsites ever. And it came at just the right time of day. Um, right when we wanted a campsite, we went around one bend. And here we were at Ghost Light Island. It was really bushy last time we camped here. Um, we were actually back up in there, kind of in the interior of the island. Uh, but the big flood in 2016 kind of changed things here and it put this gravel beach here cleared out all the underbrush but left the big trees and holy cow what a sight several times in the past i've gone down rivers i've been through before and a big flood will destroy a good spot you're like ah oh, so disappointing but this time it created one so you never know the river's always changing and in this case, it brought one of the best campsites ever. Right there, Riverside. Nice little rapid out there to put you to sleep. Just a little bit of elevation. Probably three, four feet up to the top. So uh, any small changes in water level from the rain wouldn't affect us. There's actually another cool site down at the back. Um, this really at the water level. In fact, water's running through parts of it. Um, I wouldn't have been as comfortable in that last night because of the rain that we had but as it turns out the water level did nothing this is my water level rock i stacked it vertically at the height of the water level last night and it hadn't changed a bit so um as i figured that the quick passing thunderstorm that went across the drainage didn't do much if they travel up the drainage that's a different story you gotta be careful with those so uh that's your pro tip watch your weather if it passes across, a lot less likely to bring catastrophic issues than if it's traveling uh, the length of the river corridor you're on. Always something to be mindful for, but in any case, today is gonna be sunny, 70 degrees, smooth sailing, um, looking forward to it. How did you sleep last night, brother? I slept good, I woke up quite a bit, but I slept good. I woke up, about me too. I kept waking up to look at the water level. My head out and see the rock. <laughs> I, I woke up one time, you got up and you, you, you were checking it. So same time. Oh yeah. It feels good in that hammock this morning, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I got out, I had to get a, I wanted to really wanted a time lapse off the end of the island. So I got that going out there, but man, it felt good in the hammock this morning. In the rushing water. Whew. I'm hungry. It may be biscuits and gravy time. Good. Yeah, let's eat first. All right, got camp pretty much broken down. I love camping on rocks because it's it's hard to lose things on rocks, and uh, you don't have to take so much care. But um, I like to kind of break things down in the morning first, then kind of start eating, get the last few things broken down while the food's warming up or rehydrating so yeah we're almost ready um it's kind of brisk it's about 50 degrees this morning 
and um, but it's gonna be 70 and sunny. So it's it's gonna be a rude experience, but I believe I'm going to put on my wet bathing suit just a moment and uh, just gut it out until it gets warm. <laughs> I think that's that's the consensus. You doing the same, Austin? What's up? Bathing suit and paddle jacket and hope for the best. Yeah, <laughs> men are manning up today. Poor Dirt Dauber. Not only is he behind four fish on the count, he doesn't have a paddling jacket. But I have an extra one at the house and somehow I didn't even think to offer it to him because I, I didn't consider he may not have it. So I feel bad. It's literally sitting there in a pile of things for friends to use if they don't have it. And he doesn't have it here. I'm glad you're mentioning it. When yeah. You know, I need it. Yes. I just want him to know that I'm thinking about him now, not when it mattered. So, um, <laughs> there's that <laughs> fabulous sight. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, folks. Camp is pretty much packed away. I got the sun peeking out already. It's going to be a fabulous day. I'm actually really excited. Um, supposed to be sunny all day we haven't had one of those in a while but oh uh, wow what a perfect place to end the day yesterday and spend the night um couldn't be better Austin uh, was in his happy space since he got here I, I think he doesn't even want to leave he doesn't want to leave he just wants to spend a week right here it's that good um the only the only thing I think this spot's missing is a view like a long view of the mountain or something Sun looks glorious down there, boys. Ghost Light Island. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was back and forth, and you couldn't quite tell what the day wanted to do. But there was absolutely no doubt what this day would be all about. We're about to enter what I believe is the most beautiful stretch of river on the Greenbrier. And while we're excited to be headed that way, a little bit of me wanted to slow down. I didn't want it to change. From here to the bridge at Ronsabert is like paradise.
Yeah, I got a hat. Pull your boom camera up. Ooh, that was close, Alan. Doesn't get much better, folks. Just doesn't get much better. I'll help you sell it. She didn't have it for like three or four days. That was it. She's trying to find a home for it. We should give it back to the lady. It was right before Christmas. I called that lady up. That's one for the dog. That's $300. That's awesome. So anyway, Christmas morning, I met him. I met him. Well, I went to her house and got him. I come home. I think it's going to be a lot Come back, and they were all in the bonus room. So I carried him upstairs, I put him on the top step right before you turn left to go and go. And, and uh, I heard my, I heard one of my, my dogs say, Mom, what's that? And then it was like, So Alan and I took the right channel on this pretty big island and uh, Austin and Dirt Dauber took the left channel, the kind of the middle of the left channel. I think the middle channel joins the left. If I go to my map, it's about three quarters of a mile island and uh, looks definitely all the flows on the right where we were. We're hoping they don't get boxed into like a a scrape fest, a walk fest. We've been gliding fast with what feels like almost the whole river, current-wise. So they may have a story to tell when we come out the back side of this. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. So we're getting close to the end. When we get to the big cliff face over there, that's when they should join in, just around the corner. Hopefully we'll see them. If not, we may be waiting for a while. Let's we'll see what happens. There's enough flow there. That's kind of shoulder right there in the middle. 
like coming against the trees that they'll float through that no problem I just hope we actually see them sometimes those little things will make you pay Wow, it's pretty. Doesn't get no better, Alan. That looks to be the other side coming in. I don't see them. How was it? That was a pretty little channel. Was it too scrapey? No, not at all. It's like I feel like I have almost the whole river. I hope they're not walking it. We were a little no, worried. No, and got my bald eagle. Did you? That's awesome. Austin finally got a good shot of a bald eagle. Capturing such things on a camera can sometimes prove difficult. And as it flew away down the valley, the weight and the beauty of this place began to sink in. Are we only half alive? Embers drifted in the night Looking, wandering on
Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy, dirt dauber. Oh! That was the biggest one I had yet. We drifted closer to the bridge at Ronsevert and to the upcoming changes to the river. We didn't know it at the time, but last night's rain was working its way into the river. And a few tributaries just around Ronsevert would change our river from a blue-green into a brilliant copper. What we did know is that the river has a unique trade-off. The upper stretches boast some of the best wilderness and pristine water in the southeast. You have to give some of that up at Ronsevert, but in return, you get bigger water and better rapids. So we spent the next couple of hours taking in the views and the way this part of the river feels. Somehow, all at the same time, we both looked forward to and regretted the changes the river was going through. And changes are the one constant in both life and on a river. You can't stop it. All you can do is keep paddling. And that's what we did. Over the next few miles, civilization and development would begin creeping in. It would look, feel, sound, and smell different. The bridge at Ronsevert is almost like a gateway for leaving one section of the river behind and starting the new journey. The views will be longer, the valleys wider, and the rapids bigger. So we're coming into Ronsevert, drifting at about five miles an hour. The mountain has kind of expanded. We're starting to see civilization trucks, the interstate right back there. And uh, we're in the big valley that the town's gonna be in now. So the river naturally slows down, widens out, and uh, but the current's still good. Probably five, six miles, I think, from Ronsevert 
just guessing. And it's about one o'clock. That'll push there kind of near two like we were planning. And then I think we're gonna shoot for a pizza and then head on down to our island below there. So yeah, here's to seeing what, uh, what comes of the rest of the afternoon. But I think it's gonna be a good one. I think the boys are gonna like tonight's campsite. So uh, onward for the pizza. I am on the river here and I've run into uh, some professionals. We have Amy, Jason, and Mike. 
And uh, which one of you caught the big one? Mike just caught Jason. a, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jason just caught a 22 inch smallmouth. Uh, here's the picture. And uh, he also runs a guide service in Virginia. Why don't you tell everybody about it? Uh, Rock on Charters, we do uh, smallmouth and uh, muskie. And uh, yeah, we do the James and the New. James and the New. Yep. Sounds like I have a trip in mind. <laughs> gonna get, I've never caught a muskie, folks. Gonna have to catch a muskie. But um, awesome meeting other river folks. And congratulations on the fish. Yes, sir. Thank you. Leave Thank a few you. for us if you can. Yes, sir. That, <laughs> that one's back in the water. She's awesome. good. Y'all have a good one. Yeah. All right, awesome. The gravel's nice, but this is not bad. It's kind of out of the way. So you guys so you got my dream trip, but we would go real slow. Oh, oh, I got a camera! Oh, oh. No! Dude! Dude! It's on! It's on! <laughs> you did not see that. My if left, I hadn't been here, he would have the sole water. of my thing was under a rock and I couldn't lift up. If I and my foot was here. in there and I couldn't lift up. <laughs> if I hadn't been here, he would have went down. Yeah, he would have. Oh my GoPro, God. stop recording. All right, folks, we just made it to Ron Savert. Got the boat sitting there. Alan's going to stay with the boats. We're going to see if we can walk up here to uh, some lunch. But we're going to pull up a GPS, see what's close. Pizza, burger, sub, something. Maybe a quickie store, convenience store, and get some snacks and a drink, something like that. And then uh, back on the river that way to find the Dream Sight Island. So I'm excited. Let's go get lunch. Last time we had Chris's car, because this is where he took out. Today we have legs and maybe a thumb. But it looks like everything is up here to the stop sign. Take a right and a little bit of a walk, but not too bad. Hopefully we'll find something quick. Uh, the back of a pickup truck would be amazing right now. All right, folks, we are here with Toby, River Angel. He's giving us a ride up to Wendy's and back, saving us a lot of walking. So uh, hats off to Toby, appreciate it, man. Always gotta love the people you meet. All right, folks, Toby saved our bacon. It was quite the hike up to Wendy's. Ron Sabert itself doesn't have any restaurants. And last time we used Chris's Forerunner, and I didn't remember how far it was. It just seemed like it was a hop, skip, and a jump. So uh, it's the next town over that has the restaurants. It's not far, but it's up a hill and it's no good. So uh, yeah, thank you again, Toby, for the ride. Well, we have a bag of Wendy's and a bag of goodies from the gas station, and we are feeling pretty good zip right back across the bridge and Alan is waiting there by the boats and we're gonna feast like kings people we're hungry oh man it's so good Wendy's across the board we're happy also got a couple candy bars a couple drinks for later on so we're just gonna enjoy the meal we don't have far to float to the island and just gonna have an early day and a beautiful Sunday afternoon to kind of dry some gear out, get reset, and just sit <sighs> and relax. It's going to be nice. Dirt Dauber talked me into it. Dirt Dauber loves ice cream, if you didn't know. Oh, yeah. So here's a Wendy's Frosty. Mm. It's hitting pretty good right now, folks.
sure enough. So that's Ron Savert, folks, and the people you meet along the way makes all the difference. Thanks again, Toby. Our bellies are full, our hearts are happy. We got the wind in our hair, the sun on our shoulders, and blisters on our hands. Good times. Good times. On to find this magical island. And as far as relaxing into an afternoon can go, this one is near the top of the list. We left Ron Savert to the sound of lawn mowers, people scuttling about, and cars and trucks. After a few corners, we drifted back off into the Greenbrier. Now to find Aquaman Island.
talk to me. Well, we are here on our island. However, the flood looks to have reshaped a few things and there's less island here. There's some goose poo, but this is not goose poo island. This is Aquaman Island, where we found Aquaman to replace Chris on the first journey. Got the boats all lined up on the beach. Got us a nice uh, table for drying gear. And I think it's time to pick trees and start setting up camp and enjoy the rest of the afternoon on full bellies. Be here at my shoulder. Be here in my side. Be here when the cold night falls. And in the morning light. Be here in the autumn When all the colors call Be the burning memory Of all the summers gone Got Austin, myself, Alan, Dirt Dauber. Both Dirt Dauber and myself are drying extra tarps things like that uh it's been wet for a few days so it's nice to have a day to just dry things out um everyone feels really organized it's nice to get to camp a little bit early on a day when it's dry and uh be right on schedule and be able to just kind of rearrange your boat dry it out get it all looking good in there so fantastic camp once again doesn't get much better got austin over there it even has a fire ring we found that in the woods so Austin's cutting up some sycamores that he found. Um, Cause he's never seen a sycamore like the one he found. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a good night folks. All right, today's pro tip of the week. I always try to think of something that I may have learned or seen from someone else or invented or whatever. But if you've got a tight camp with other folks and you got lines going through in walking height, um, hang a little branch or a little ribbon or a bag hang something where everyone can realize what's going on and not walk into it in the middle of the night or people will go taking down your tarp so I, I do that everywhere um if there's other people around so yeah aquaman island camp's looking good tonight folks got everything charging uh, some dry clothes waiting to go my dry bags for packing in the morning just a great camp. So the water just before Ron Savert and then a few miles after Ron Savert, um, bless you, there were two creeks. Um, the second one was the main culprit, but they were dumping just all kinds of mud into the river. So now we have this brown water instead of the clear green that we've had all trip until here. Uh, no doubt the runoff from last night's storm um alan is cold soaking his diet coke gotta be smart so i made a river cairn i do this every time i get to camp uh one big rock or just a few rocks and i mark the water line uh this one happens to be right there and the water is receding um as we speak that's important if you don't have access to internet or cell signal um and you can't check the gauges for the river you're on suppose you're in true backcountry no cell service or up in the far north or something you have to be mindful of the water level so especially when you're on an island if uh if it would it had been raining if more rain was coming probably wouldn't be on an island a small one anyway and if we were we'd be up on a higher ground so the river levels this morning everywhere were coming down in the area i don't expect them to go up too much so when we got here uh, about an hour ago, I put the cairn up, and if it's rising, you'll know right away. If it's lowering, you'll know. And you can watch this during the night. Um, if you've got to get up to pee, um, just keep an eye on that always so you know what the river level is doing. 
just always be aware. So that's your second pro tip of the week. Not much left to do, but enjoy the afternoon. Um, a lot of the hard, long days are kind of behind us. We got uh, a couple of the shorter days. Got going to try to hit Stewart's Barbecue tomorrow, kind of like for lunch. And then we should be rolling into Hinton on Friday. And then, uh, and then we may have a side trail adventure to go on. So we're yeah. looking for that. Good times. There it is, folks. It does not get much better than that. Alan's posture says it all. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it clears back up overnight, at least some. But it's now time for me to enjoy. <sighs> some sweet tea. And a chocolate moon pie. Oh yeah. Could you do the honor, sir? Only one way to eat a moon pie. Mmm. Mm -hmm. World's best. That one's been in the bag for a couple hours. <laughs> but it still tastes good. All right, folks, I'm here to bring you another pro tip of the week. I always bring spam singles on my trips in the future because Austin just showed these to me and I've never seen them before. <laughs> spam singles. Tell us when you discover them and how they work for you. Um, I tried them on the John Muir Trail in 21. Uh, I just was looking for other lunch items that I could, because there was a, we had to pack three resupplies and ship them to California. Yeah. So I needed shelf stable protein that I could ship across the country and eat in six weeks. Oh yeah. Um, and so going over all the forums, uh, somebody suggested spam so without trying at first i bought a big case of spam divvied it up and shipped it to california and tried it for the first time on trail uh, on the john muir trail and it was a winner a winner um, you just can't look at what it looks like <laughs> don't just, think about what it is <laughs> just enjoy the taste just enjoy it it's it's, it's lots of sodium yeah. lots of protein yeah all good and those are both important things when you're grinding it out especially on a hiking trail like he was doing uh extreme output so you need a lot of good input so let's try this thing all right i gotta say good advice don't look at what it looks like folks <laughs> just take a big old bite it literally looks like the side of a pig before i mean while it's still alive pretty good it's like a hot dog. It's like a flat hot dog. Yeah. My try bite. I have kind of like bologna hot dog combo. Yeah. It's really not bad. Spam. That's what's for dinner. Spam, a moon pie, a fire, some friends. The world's best camping spot. Mm good times and I'm still six fish ahead of dirt dauber for now <laughs> for now hope this water stays turbid and murky be a shame if the fishing wasn't any good from here on out <laughs> so here I am all these years later I can still hear the whisper of the river it still flows through my veins I'm still out exploring with my friends while mama's probably still worried about me. We'll keep shining on. <laughs> Be here at my shoulder. This world and this life will bring a lot of changes. Be here at my side. But I'm thankful that some things never change. Be here when the cold night falls and in the morning Be here when the cold night falls